So, the other day, we took the golf cart to the Tillies tournament. It's the typical FD stuff, you break the header. Uh, okay. <laughs> Situation normal. As you could probably expect, per usual, everything didn't go uh, as planned. Now, Tilly's invited us out because they've been carrying our gear since we basically started. Like, kind of like shirts like this. I don't know if you can even see that. Anyway, so we made some last minute modifications, but now we actually got to fix some things because we sent it a little hard on the uh, golf course. So, that's where we're going today. Oh, what's going on today, Brad? Well, today at Garage Garage! Garage Garage! Garage Garage! Kyle, this is so appropriate right now. All right, today we're gonna do some venting for the cooling. Number two, we hung the speakers, but we didn't have enough time to actually get any stereoage in there. So we're gonna go ahead and make her sing today. We did, as you know, go look at paint the rims gold, but now we got some wheels. As everybody knows with carburetors, if you let them sit, they leak. So we went ahead and got a rebuild kit. Not expecting it to run any better, just run closer to right. Number five, water pump. We were not getting the right cooling. As much as we tried, as fast as we tried to go, uh, she wasn't cooling. So we are going to add an external water pump. We're gonna get that water circulating as fast as we can through that radiator and hopefully get our cooling system adequated. Number six, we're putting disc brakes in this bitch. It is so fast now that making it faster is just not safe. So let's get it started. Got the carb kit, got spindles, got another belt just in case it explodes. Amplifier, switch, and some wire and a brand new pull cord. And don't forget about these bad Johnnies. We just marked a series of holes that are equal all the way across. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill all these holes out all the way down, allowing the fan to be able to draw air from the top and through the very back. While we have this thing open, we're gonna go ahead and install that stereo. What we got going on here, Brad? That is the stereo switch. We are gonna put it totally away from everything else so that we know it is only for the stereo. What, what am I hearing? Some love. That's how we do it. All you single ladies out there, my number's at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead, give me a call. All right, guys, kicking ass today. Really kicking ass and taking names. Got our amplifier installed. Went ahead and got these bitchin' speakers right here. Ran our wire down our A-pillars. Amplifier wiring comes down, goes around, goes down to the chassis. A little switch right here. Stereo off. Stereo on. And if you look back down in here, my assistant will get his phone out for us. And we have a auxiliary input. And a stereo. 
stereo. Ooh. On top of our holes to get air out, our amplifier to get stereo in, I think we'll probably maybe get some wheels on it. All right, another beautiful day here in Long Beach. We're gonna see what my man Brad's up to. Skirt! What's up, man? What are we doing today? Today, we're gonna make it look beautiful, which we have a bunch of other things to do, but we need to go ahead and rip all these body panels off, get these things all cleaned up for a livery, and we have another little problem. I have a little rub issue. Full turn. So, okay. we're gonna take one from the FD guys, and basically position the whole front end about an inch further forward in order just to get full tilt. Also, I'm assuming we're gonna have to fix this little teeny tiny issue since the expansion chamber broke Broke off. Yeah, I kind of jumped it off the trailer and uh, hit the exhaust off. That was my fault. Okay, so, party on. Fault. Well, it still kind of ran at the, uh, no, at the tournament. It, like everybody was saying online, it just takes away all the power band out of it. There's no power band for it when it doesn't have the expansion chamber. As well as not being tuned right. Like, not being tuned right, we don't have the power it should have that the motor should make. Well, tell you what, obviously we're on a super tight deadline. Let's see what she can do. I'm gonna see about getting this painted. We go holler at our boy John. Yeah. John Chase! Ah! So that's the extra water pump? Yeah, this is gonna be our new water pump that's gonna hopefully flow better. I'm placing it really close to the head, but we're gonna go right to the fan so that we're sharing the same leads as the fan so that we know the fan's on, we know the water pump's on. That's cool. You gonna shrink that down to that? I agree with everybody saying that we need to shrink this down, but I kinda wanna keep this fat, so I think I'm just gonna pie cut a bunch of these and then smack it down and then weld it into that. guys go ahead and weld it up this old air exhaust system we did modify the length so we are gonna have to be doing some jetting uh, I took you guys advice and I put a stinger on the end I agree that that back pressure is gonna make this thing run better so let's just go over and look the creation that I did we went and coned this down so we went from a two and a quarter all the way down to an inch and then where I broke it, we just rewelded it. So we're gonna go ahead and just fire up right now and see if we got that pop back into the sound, that rotary Dorito pop, 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 pop. This is where I wanted to be. I wanted to know that the motor was still running, but we did and still do have carburetor issues, which is gonna take some time. He's about to start on the livery. Oh yeah! So we should probably go check it out, see how Let's he's doing. Let's go check out John. What's the typical um, protocol when painting a golf cart? So I mean, we're gonna wipe it down, get all the dirt off of it, then we're gonna scuff it with uh, some scotch Brite pads, and then we'll take some prep saw, clean off anything else that's left over it, so I'll take care of the grease, and any like oils or something on the panels. And then we're gonna go ahead and use some really quality uh, off-brand spray paint. After we get done spraying it, we'll let it dry. And I'm gonna pull some, some of this gold pinstripe tape. You can just speed up this whole process. It's kind of boring. <laughs>
All right, guys. Got a lot done today. Big thanks to John. No, don't thank me at all. It was all this dude. Wouldn't be looking this good without this guy. So we are gonna wrap up today, but we are gonna be back at it tomorrow to finish up a couple few more items of running. So uh, see you guys in the morning. What's going on, dude? What up, man? Here, working on the carburetors. What you see is done is always the candy on the cake, but uh, it's not running exactly right yet. The key component today will be cutting the front end off, moving it forward. Now, you were in here earlier, and you hooked up that second water pump? Yes, we put the inline water pump. We just put it to the same fan switch. The best way to tell if your water pump's working, if you look, the water is actually moving. It's circulating. You can see the little ripple over there in the corner. Cool, man. Pretty chill day. Just carburetor, moving the front end. It's pretty intense to put the front brakes on a car that never had brakes on it at all. As well as just as intense as making these carburetors run correctly. Because we got to guess on the primary jetting and then order the correct jets or drill these jets. What's the purpose of the jets? The jet right here is actually what allows the fuel to come through the bowl down into the carburetor. So the gas gets sucked in through here, forced into the motor. So what's the problem right now? Problem right now is this is the floats and the floats shut off the gas that go into here. What's happening is the float isn't shutting off the gas. This little needle and seat has something in it and it's causing it to just stick wide open. So this is the needle and seat. That would be the needle right there and the seats inside here. It actually works pretty good. Hmm. I see another problem. There's a missing piece right there that should be there that blocks the fuel from going down there. That's why this isn't running right. What happened was it was leaking out of right there. It's cool. I needed to rebuild anyway, so. take these springs and cut one coil off of them. You take this bolt out here and this bolt out here, you lift it up and they fall out. Radiator's holding up. Radiator's holding up. Carburetor's holding up. Everything's holding up, seems like. We're on a pathway to greatness here. Back to it. We're getting these disc brakes in. I just wanted to lay out the kit for you guys, show you what we got given to us by Jake's Golf Carts. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those spindles right there with the new spindles. See that bracket right here? This bracket with the two holes. We bolt the caliper to the bracket, put the spindle with the bracket on the golf cart, mount the master cylinder and another bracket to the pedal assembly on here. So kind of cool, cross-drilled rotors, master cylinder bracket, and assembly instructions.
Well, we got the hole drilled here. And now we've got to figure out how to attach this guy to here. So when this is pushed in, it's pushing that back. Also, what we got to do is get a bracket built. Got to basically build a bracket right here to support these two bolts so that this guy doesn't come off of that. Went ahead and drilled it, got it all done. Let's go from there. All right, progressively good day today. Got our disc brake kit on, and then we had the camber problem that Vin is so viciously <laughs> putting this, out. What happened to this camber, Brad? So somehow in here with the spindle placement, we have camber issues. One looks okay. One looks definitely okay. Could it crash this thing? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. It might have been in an accident prior to this. So what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna go ahead and cut these and make these adjustable so that we can adjust that camber in and adjust that camber in and give us some fresh stance. So. We're gonna wrap this up. We'll be back to you guys tomorrow. We're gonna get more stuff done. All your suggestions are necessary and loved. So nitrous, turbo, anything else you guys wanna do, write in the comment below. Tell us what you want. So yesterday we got a lot of nothing done. We got a lot of parts, put them on, and found out most of them didn't work as per se they needed to. Just getting the disc brakes on took a lot of work. Yeah. And, and that's no, no problem to the manufacturer. It was because we used a disc brake kit that's kind of universal and we had to adapt it to our car. First thing, what are you, where, where are you attacking, bro? First thing, we're gonna rip the wheels back off and we're gonna cut the upper arm and tilt it in so that once we've got the upper arms tilted in and we have the angle of the wheels we want, we can address the steering. And then once we've got the camber set correctly, then we're gonna address the how the tie rods are attached to the wheel, which will actually give us full steer left to right. So basically I turn the rack or the steering box all the way to one way so it doesn't turn anymore. That's causing, you know, this rack and pinion underneath here to go all the way this way. I mark that and I'm gonna count how many times it goes the other way. So that's one, two, looks like two and three quarter. So two and three quarter lock to lock. So if we divide two and three quarter in half, so we'll go one, and I believe it's like right around there. This is the problem we're having is these tie rods aren't long enough in that position straight. Well, actually that one's too long, so we can shorten that one. And then this one over here seems to be fine too. We just gotta shorten that one. So here's the adjustment right here. This is a locking nut, it means it locks the tie rod down, and then you spin your tie rod in, just like this. This is what you would do to align your car. Okay, so that looks good there. And that looks fairly straight. All right, let's do the other one. Um, this is just a temporary adjustment right now, because once we cut these arms and put camber back in, we're gonna readjust all this again. I see, says the wise man, right here. So we gotta do a little, see right here where it's, this is hitting? We gotta do a little clearance right there. Yeah, now let's go the other way. That looks pretty good. That's lock to lock right nice. there. Nice, so you just gotta trim the one up? Just gotta trim this one up right here on this side. And then I gotta cut right here. And cut a little bit off and then move this in so that the actual wheel, you know, uh, cambers in. I see. Not so bad. Didn't spill it. Bing, bada, boom. Spin it. Sounds like it's rubbing a little bit though. No, they do. They do. Disc brakes hang, and as you spin, they push the caliper back. But that's cool. I'm down with that. Now we need to get throttle. Throttle will be stoked. Oh, and our glow light. Oh, and our flow cage. Time out here. Take I'm a breather. I'm getting so excited right now. We got to weld the wink mirror in. 
This is very important when you lose your balls, especially behind you. Then you can see them. Well, it's gonna be hard. To, it's gonna be hard to tell if it's leaking. That'll dry up. What's the word, big guy? Now our biggest problem is full throttle. We're working on not stretching that cable and getting us to full throttle. This is where, like I was telling you, I should have the kind that has like the threads and the nut on both sides, like a throttle cable. Let me tighten this one more time and you can do it through full throttle again and then we'll take it for a spin. Alright, so pretty good day. Pretty good day. You know, daddy's here. So when daddy's here, everything gets done. Like we all know, call your daddy, he'll get it done for you. Today we got her done. So tomorrow we got a few things we're gonna do and then some action. We're gonna do some beauty shit. And maybe even call out Cletus McLaren and Leroy, you ain't got nothing on the old golf cart. <laughs> good stuff today, dude. Thank you. Music! going on man do wheelies now we're gonna try to get this uh, bar put on so we have some lightage in the front and uh, that's pretty much a wrap I mean like we're ready to rip potato chip let's talk about alignment let's talk about it uh, yeah that ain't gonna work <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well let's get to it so we can get ripping Dude, this thing's looking sick. You had Dan in here helping you out? Yeah, but I'm not gonna blame him for the crooked light bar, it's all me. Anyways, <laughs> got the light bar done, got a few things buttoned up, gonna get ready to go rip around the parking lot. I say it's uh, time for some lights, camera, and BAM! Sick! I just hope it stops. It's definitely not gonna stop, is it? Man, I don't wanna hear that. <laughs> <laughs> is all this functional with the speakers and everything now? Everything's functional. What? Yeah. What? Let's fire up. Let's do it. Oh yeah!
So that's it for this build. That's it, dude. If you guys want to see any more of this crazy shit, comment below what you want to see me do, because, uh... Get to rock!